In this video, we're going to speed up our computer by adding an NVMe drive. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So pretty much what I've been experiencing is some slowdown, what I would consider slowdown for when I'm editing in DaVinci Resolve, even though I have a fast computer. So um, what I decided to do is I picked up a NVMe drive, which I already have in my computer right now, which is for my main operating system. Um, I have two SSDs that I have rated together to do some type of performance on my computer, but that drive has constantly been used for other stuff. So what I plan on doing is adding one of these as my scratch or cache drive for DaVinci Resolve so that when I'm video editing is using this drive and my phone is blowing up because people are calling me like crazy. Um, I'm using this drive as a cache drive so the application has this super fast drive to do all of its edits on and then everything else um, should perform a lot faster. But at the same time, my motherboard, like I said, I already have one of these, but my motherboard doesn't have access to be able to install another one. So instead of me buying another motherboard reinstalling everything and then still buying another one of these I came across and ordered one of these that just came in the mail it is a NVMe drive that you can put in a PCIe 4 um, slot on your motherboard so I got plenty of those so let's go ahead and crack open the computer and then show you how we actually get this stuff installed all right, so let's see what's inside of here. So this is, like I said, I need one of these because I only have one M.2 NVMe slot in my motherboard, on my motherboard right now. So, all right, here's a low profile bracket. And I will have a link in the description for the exact brand and everything that I'm using here. Some wonderful silica, which I don't need. All right, and this is pretty much it. So like I said, this plugs in to the, into my motherboard, into a PCIe um, 4X slot. And I just put my card, the NVMe card right here, and Windows 10 should identify this. It also comes with little screws and stuff. So let me get a screw real quick. All right, and again, I have the, I have a Samsung 970 Evo Plus, um, 500 gig. So again, the two SSDs that I have currently in my system that are rated together are two 250 gigs. So I'll get the same amount of space, but significantly faster performance. So, let's go ahead and get this installed here. It's right there. And we're just gonna put this slot here. This is a 80 millimeter, I believe, yes. So it'll take up the full length of this. So I need to put the little bracket and stopper all the way at the end here. can use either side of this so let's set this right well let me put this in here first and it's only one way that you can put it in because it has a little notch right here uh, one notch and then it's a full solid compared to the other m.2s that have the other slot on both sides so it slides in like a the old memory on your laptop and then it sits down. And am I missing something? I thought. Hold on. Let, let me read the instructions. 
So I think it is missing a screw on here. At least that's what I think. And do this here. And let's just confirm this. Because if I put this on here, where that bracket is supposed to be, yeah, I don't think that's right. Oh, okay. I get it. So the little piece holds in place like this in the notch, if you can see that. And then I have to screw it in from the back. This is not small enough, so I need to get another one. All right, let's try this again. All right, so that's not going anywhere. Real straightforward. Boom, boom. All right, so let me shut my computer down and let me go ahead and get this installed. All right, so real simple is you have to make sure you have a free slot so that you can actually install this. And I'm being lazy because I didn't want to remove all the cables and get everything back over here. So I have a slot right there. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to remove this panel here and then put the card with the new NVMe right there. All right. Got it all lined up. Alright, that's it. And then just need to secure it. Put the panel back on here, my tempered glass cover here. And let's make sure I can get into the BIOS with my system so you can see what's going on here. And let me just hook everything back up and get it turned back on. All right, as you can see, the other drive is showing up right now. The Samsung Evo right here. The Western Digital 512 is still my boot drive, so it is showing up, so that's cool. Now, if I can zoom out of here a second. So we don't really need to change anything right now. So the motherboard is seeing it, so we're just gonna exit out of this and let windows finish booting and exit out we don't need to do any changes i guess windows detected a change so it's saying it needs to do something not really sure what it would need to do but all right so let's go ahead and log in Once I get to a desktop, I will switch over so that we can see our desktop directly. All right, so we're here. So let's go ahead and open up my PC. And it's not showing, which is fine because we need to set up our disk. And create a partition. So we're gonna go to disk manager and as you can see it's picking up. And what we want to do 
here's our drive here. We want to just go ahead and create a simple volume and we're going to call this full size. Give it a letter. We're going to call this um, DaVinci Resolve <laughs> Dr. Cash. <laughs> All right, finish. The drive is there. Now if we go back to here and there's our drive. So what we want to do is now we're going to use the disk writing tool that comes with Blackmagic products and we want to see the speed. So let's do a comparison here. I'm going to do a two gig file and we're going to select our D drive, which is a two terabyte regular mechanical drive. We just want to see what the speed is on this now. All right, around like 144, 145 megabits per second on right. And then around like 150 or similar speeds in reads. All right, so that's the D drive. That is a um, mechanical, old fashioned platter based hard drive. All right, so now let's go to our E drive, which is our original cache drive, but this is a two 250 gigabyte SSDs, 2.5 um, inch hard drives in RAID 0. And let's see how fast they do in comparison. All right, about almost around six to seven times faster. So pretty fast. Now I'm looking forward to this. Now this is gonna be the new drive, the new NVMe running on the PCI Express um, 4 slot. Let's see how fast this goes now. All right, super, super fast. Very good. All right, now I'm gonna test my other NVMe drive which is my operating system one. Um, so the speed should be slower because this is running, the program that's running the test is running on the same drive. So this really isn't ideal, but again, this is for just a comparison sake. All right, so that's a write and read. Read is significantly higher than the writes, but again, this is running our main operating system and all of our stuff. So I would think ultimately what I'd like to do is replace this drive and the drive that I'm using right now is actually gonna become my operating system drive and then get another one just like this and put it as my scratch drive. All right, so I couldn't hold my excitement based off of how everything happened based off of what i said originally i was thinking about moving from my western digital nvme to the samsung and let the samsung that i currently just installed be the os drive and get another one so i actually pulled the trigger and i actually ordered another nvme that i need to pick up from the store tomorrow morning but i already migrated everything over and good lord the performance is awesome so here's the same test and let me just open up my my computer here real quick so you can see right now i've already migrated everything and this is actually the the samsung is now my standard um os drive and the western digital has been moved to this drive so with that being said i just want to show you the performance difference um because i'm as you can see in the background i'm actually editing <laughs> this video and i just stopped to actually do this and i actually migrated everything over and then came back in and the performance is out of this world so let me go ahead and again you saw how slow it was performing 
running off the OS drive with everything running on it. So let me go ahead and pick this drive again. Again, this is the Samsung one. So let me go ahead and run this test now. Outstanding. And I mean, I'm editing right now using this drive and I'm noticing it right now. So again, the Western Digital is now set up as my scratch drive, but everything that is using right now is so fast it's not even noticing because i'm not actually using the scratch drive in any type of way except for some minor caching but if this is how the os is responding right now on this nvme when i install the other one as the cache drive it's going to be even better so what i'm going to do is my live streaming computer i've actually already i'm migrating over the SSD that I had left over from my um, NDI build that I did at church. I took that drive out and because the mechanical drive <laughs> in that one died. So I'm moving that over and then once everything is done, I'm going to take out the Western Digital Drive out of this one, move it over to my live streaming so I'll still be keeping this drive, but the new Samsung is going to replace this. So back to video editing. That was pretty much it guys. All the links in the descriptions of everything I have is gonna be, um, all the products that I use are gonna be in the description. Let me get this camera out of my way. Um, and I hope that helped, cause again, you can do, as long as your computer has that type of slot, that PCI, PCIe 4X slot, you will be able to add one of these drives now everybody i mean hopefully everybody would know if you want to speed up your computer change your mechanical drive to an ssd i just showed you from a testing it's about seven times faster just doing that and then the nvme is even two times faster than the ssd so I'm really looking forward to start getting into DaVinci Resolve and see how much faster this is going to be, but I hope that helps. You can always try this out on any of your computers, especially most of the churches. I know they use donated computers. You might be able to get one of these things and put a breath of fresh air into that computer and get some more performance out of it. Anyway, I hope you like this type of content, guys. Um, if so, I'll appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and also don't forget to hit that bell notification that way you're notified of new videos Oh, and on the same way the same stuff that we just talked about this type of drive You know, I'm maybe not this exact one. I think I might actually try a Samsung. You never know I will the ultimate presentation computer will have an NVMe inside of it um, So you can actually have fast performance as well. So don't forget we're still doing that. We're going for 500 subscribers or July 1st, whichever one comes first, we're gonna build an ultimate presentation PC and one lucky person who is a subscriber and also leaves a comment on the build video for the ultimate presentation PC will win that PC. And as of right now, I believe we've also upgraded it to where it's gonna have its own dedicated graphics card in it. Still playing around with it. Darn you, Radeon 7 for not performing right. But anyway, um, We'll get more into that. So make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, um, hit bell notifications, and also check out the blog, um, ajhomes.com, where it has more details about this stuff. We will see you on the next video later.